Welcome back to ECM Studios. My name is Taylor Bell. I wanted to put a video out in regards to losing your device. Yes, it sucks. Um, I've been wanting to put this out for a while, but um, I think now is the perfect time. Knock on wood. Um, let's hope neither you or myself um, go through um, anything like this ever or again if it's already happened. It sucks. It is a ginormous pain in the ass with all sorts of keeping your personal, excuse me, personal data safe and private and out of the hands of any bad guys or online lookers. Um, data and device privacy and security is at an all time high. Um, I have two main, now if you have an Android, I'm not talking about find, what is iPhone? Find my device. Is it find my device on iPhone? I don't know. I don't. Even, I don't have uh, any iOS devices. But you have two options. You have, um, you have the Google's Find My Device, and you have Samsung Smart Things. You find my device app in Samsung Smart Things application. You can run either app on either device. If you have Samsung Galaxy. You don't have to just use smart things, although it does have one major advantage over find my over the Google's find my device. Um, we'll get into that here in just a second. Both of these applications have come a long way. Now, let me show you what you need to download. This is the Google application find my device it not only works on cell phones it works on tablets it works on um, chromebooks anything any device that's running chrome and or not chrome that's running android right so um download this application i believe it comes does it come stock on? I don't know. I know it used to come um, as soon as you get a brand new phone. It's supposed to be one of the pre-installed applications. I'm not sure it is anymore. In fact, I don't believe it is. So no worries for you. As soon as this video is over with, simply go down to the description box. I'm going to link not only this Google Find My Device application. I'm also going to link the Samsung smart things application in the description box below so you don't have to go uh, scouring the internet or through your play store quick and easy link all right here so what you're going to want to do is download this and simply sign in now you can download this google find my device on any android device so if I can sign into, let's say I have account B on the white phone and account A on the white phone uh, on the S23 Ultra, I can install Google Find My Device on this phone and then log into the Find My Device application and uh, with 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 account A and I can see wherever this device is. Long story short, just make sure the same account, whatever device you're trying to find and or link up. Um, um, is signed in. You'll need to sign in to find my device on the same accounts to whatever device you want to find. Um, let's go check out the other one. Here is the other one. Samsung Smart Things. It's not only a quote-unquote find my device application. It does a, a number of things really. It links all of your Samsung devices together or on the same network. Whatever Samsung smartphone and or device you're signed into, this will link them all together and help communicate them all together. Uh, similar setup uh, as I mentioned on, on there, but let's get into, so after you download and, and install both of these, and again, you can download the Samsung Smart Things on a non-Samsung phone, but when you install it on the non-Samsung phone and open it up, it is going to look for your Samsung devices. So uh, you don't have to have a Samsung phone to uh, download this, but um, you will need to be signed into a device for it to locate it. So let's go through a scenario. Let's say the scenario is, well, I guess you, let's say you lose your phone, right? So what's the first thing you do? 
do you call the police and make a police report? Uh, maybe, but um, uh, do you try to call and or text that number to, to ask for it back, right? I'll give you a reward, this or that. Um, I know I've known that's happened in the past. That, that would be part of it. But in my opinion, the absolute very first thing I'm doing, if you lose a device, is I'm located. If you know somebody stole it, like let's say a purse snatcher, um, let's say your mom, right? God forbid she's walking out of a grocery store and a bad guy runs up, snatches her purse and runs off. Like you physically see a theft um, uh, or she does it happen where they're going to take her purse and you know they're going to go through her stuff. I would immediately... Um, in any scenario, I would open one of these apps that you have so that you're signed into because you can not only um, um, lock these devices down where they have to input a, uh, a screen, a pin or screen pattern to get into the dev- into the device. I would do that if you you just lost it, right? You don't know where it is. It could be totally fine. Nobody stole it. Nobody could even have it in their possession. It could be sitting on a counter at um a best buy right that you forgot um i would or in your home if you don't know where it's at just go ahead and lock it and the other option is going back to that scenario of the person snatcher i would immediately wipe the device meaning uh wipe the data on it okay so they can't even get into to the device because there are some tools and some tool kits available that allows you to remove the lock screen uh, uh, code or pin or pattern. Um, now, I'm not going to get into that because not many people know about that, but they are out there. Um, so depending on what scenario you're faced with, uh, you know, you can make the best option for yourself. But let's get into what these look like. Okay, so now we've entered the Google Find My Device application, and I'll probably have to blur some stuff out, but um, just never mind it. You know, I'm just uh, a couple of items on here that uh, should not be shared online personally, but um, this is what it looks like, right? When you go open up the Find My Device application, you're going to have your list of apps, your list of devices that you're signed into on any number of accounts your account will be up here on the right and you can switch your account by simply selecting that and uh, changing the account on the top right icon but as you can tell these are some devices that i'm signed into so here are your options it'll give you the device last seen just now i'm looking at it but it'll tell you if it's connected to a Wi-Fi network, it'll tell you what Wi-Fi network it is connected to, and it'll give you your battery, how much battery life is left. Why is that important? Well, you can't locate the device if it's turned off or if it has no battery. Um, Here are some of the options. You can refresh the signal. You can get the information on the device. Device information, the IMEI, first registered, meaning uh, first signed in to the Find My Device application. Last seen, what day last seen? Um, That helps out in certain situations. Now, here are your different options. Play a sound. Device will ring for five minutes, even if set to silent. I'm going to ring a device for you here to let you know what it sounds like. Secure device. Lock the device and sign out of your Google account. You can also display a message or phone number on the lock screen. You can still locate the device after it is locked. So that would be in the case where you just don't know where it is, but you're not sure if somebody stole it. You know, what maybe what if you find it? What if you have a bunch of photos and videos you don't have backed up? You don't want to wipe the device, uh, but you just want to lock it to make sure nobody can access the information on there. And here is erasing the device option erase all content from the device after your device has been erased you cannot locate it and i will show you on the samsung smart things application um they you are able to locate well 
we'll get into it. The Samsung actually has one or two more features, which I prefer, but it's up to you. You may not have a Samsung device. Um, what does this do? This gives you full screen view, um, feedback, help. What else we got? Is that it? So let's ring my S23 Ultra. Hopefully, let me turn the, I think it'll play if the volume's all the way down. Let's try it. Volume's all the way down. Play sound. Gives you your default T-Mobile ringtone. So, yes, it will play even if your volume might set to do not disturb and the volume is all the way down. Um, let's check out Samsung Smart Things real quick. Right? Hang on. Okay, and here's Samsung Smart Things. This is when you sign on to the desktop client. Um, when you open, a, when you download and install the Samsung Smart Things application, it'll give you a link on the application that you can open it up on your desktop and just save it as a bookmark. You all these options that you see on the desktop, you will have on the mobile device as well. It'll give you your devices here on the left. And it'll give you certain options you can do here on the right. You can extend, extend the battery life. That's a, a option that Find My Device does not have from Google. Now you do have the ring, which Find My Device has. You do have the lock of the device, like the Google Find My Device application has. You can track its location. You can erase the data, right? Like the Google um, Find My Device app has. Here's one thing that Google's Find My Device app does not have. Uh, Samsung has the option for you to locate it even if the device is powered off. That's correct. Even if the battery is at zero, you can still locate it. That's why this one is my go-to Find My Device application now. Again, you do have to have a Samsung device, as you can tell. All these are Samsung devices on the left. However, you can install this Samsung SmartThings app on a non-Samsung Android phone and locate your Samsung devices, or you can get on a desktop computer. And um, I'll, I'll link the desktop clients down at the bottom as well for y'all. But yes, you can also locate it if it is dead. How do they do that? Samsung implemented a few years ago. So all their flagship, I believe all their flagship devices, I'm not sure if the A series has it, they might, but I know all their flagship Galaxy devices have it. The Galaxy, just for uh, reference, S23 Ultra, S23, S23 Plus. Um, the tablets have it and the um, uh, laptops have it, um, where you can basically, it has what they implemented a ultra, low uh what is it ultra ultra wideband uh for bluetooth let me see here what is it called ultra wideband bluetooth uwb it's a certain newer technology that it's basically a bluetooth chip that is powered um by your battery internally in the phone and it'll last for maybe a few weeks while the device is dead and now it won't last forever um but it is a newer chip ultra wideband bluetooth and as you can tell here's the option right here into your settings make sure you have this in your settings where are we right here ultra wideband b uwb ultra wideband bluetooth make sure that's on so you can locate your device even if it's dead so that's my go-to choice. Um, I don't think, let's see, is there anything else on here? So depending on what your scenario is, uh, you can refresh the data over here. Depending on what your device is, you can um, you know, choose which app is for you. The Samsung one is the best one. I'm always busy, sorry. 